I went to Mass at Ollie Steele at a 9.30 Mass, and it was the Mass Father Mike was supposed to be saying. He never arrived, and my mother happened to be at the same Mass, and I looked at her and I said, you know where he lives, we need to go check on him. We found his place, we couldn't get in, it took us 45 minutes to find a key. We went in with the neighbors, and Father Mike was in the bathroom, slumped over, and he had had a stroke. And he was non-responsive as far as being able to move or talk, so they laid him down. He could not speak, but he could hear me. He kept telling him, Father Mike, hang in there, you're gonna get help. Hi, I'm Representative Jeremy Lacombe. This video features the story of Father Mike and the compassionate care he received from my healthcare professionals at Point Capi General Hospital as he recovers from a severe stroke. As you know, Father Mike served for many years as pastor at St. Mary's of False River. I'm glad to see that he returned to live in our rural community where so many people love and support him. Life has given him a really big curve and those curves are not always easy, but I think he's shown all of us how to persevere. When I was first admitted to Point Capi General Hospital, I was very blessed to have a therapist who also was a good friend. I remember very vividly in one of my therapy sessions, my left leg, which was my weak side that was stroke affected, started to move. I think both of us needed to see some progress because it was, um, it was slowing down and he was working so hard and we still weren't seeing any movement. And then there was this one day that the left leg moved. And I started crying, which I'm about to do right now. And I cried because she was crying, not knowing what she was crying about, but told me that she loved me. I'm not only a patient to her, but also a person who she really cared about. He's been progressing since then. He left us and uh, he and I have stayed big buddies and um, I check on him a couple of times a week. They go kind of above and beyond, which in this day and age, sometimes it's hard to get that care all of the time, but these people over there have definitely shown that to Father Mike. And I think it's all about supporting them and um, staying in contact with them. And I have a handful of people that I've, I've done that for in my life, and um, I don't know, it just feels right. I know I've made much progress. I know I have much more to go. We have a nickname for him, and it's called Mighty Mike, because he's strong in body, mind, and spirit. Thank you to all of our healthcare heroes at Point Capi General Hospital for going above and beyond to help Father Mike and for all that you do to improve lives in our rural community.